Assalamu alaikum. Today our topic of discussion is the animal distribution. Animals ki ab humne distribution dekhni hai ki animals kin kin areas mein uh, distributed hai aur unke distribution patterns kya hai. Ab animals always try to expand their habitat area of the living. Why? Because uh, as they reproduce, their number increases and they need more, more food and more space to live. So that's why they always uh, try to explore the new environment. No space on the earth is free of animals if it can and sport life definitely if the environmental conditions are favorable enough space is available and enough food is available so animals always uh, try to occupy that area now i'm going to discuss the patterns of the distribution five types of distributions are found commonly in animals first one is the cosmopolitan cosmopolitan means found everywhere some animals on the earth are said to have a uh, are said to have cosmopolitan distribution if they have worldwide distribution animals uh, are known as uh, cosmopolitan in distribution if they are found throughout the world such animals have certain adaptations to overcome environmental barriers for example birds okay and uh, what conditions are necessary to occupy a new environment or to occupy uh, or to overcome the barriers in the new environment these uh, uh, each environment has its own specific barriers for example if uh, an animal is in living in the pakistan and uh, in pakistan uh, there is the scarcity of the food animal uh, now animal definitely animal want to live animal want to expand its number want to reproduce now animal um, uh, an animal want all these um, characteristics in its life but without the food life is not possible so animal try to migrate uh, and other environment so um, animal have a certain type of the adaptations to occupy a new environment for example if uh, uh, this animal is a mammal it is difficult for mammal to occupy new environment because um, uh, any if a uh, mammal want to run or walk um, uh, walking require a long time and uh, there is no shortage of the food in in the whole journey uh, journey while if the animal is a bird they can easily cross the continents because they have wings such animals are called eurotopic animals eurotropic animals they have cosmopolitan distribution it means they are found worldwide while another type of the animals um, with a restricted distribution they are known as stenotypic animals they have special characteristics and these special characteristics uh, uh, and these special characteristics prevent animal to distribute throughout the world be, um, these stenotopic and stenotopic animals are not able to cross the barriers present in the journey. Here, the example is given uh, of a snail. Snail is included in the uh, mollusks and the gastropoda. Next type of distribution is the discontinuous distribution. They are present in certain areas but are absent from other areas without any continuity. Suppose um, an animal is present in the area of chakwal and uh, the area next to the chakwal is the uh, Atak, Miawali, Sargoda, Rawalpindi etc these areas but uh, uh, this animal is absent in these areas now this animal is present in the areas of the kp kisbos in sawat or you can say the mansehra so this distribution is um, known as 
discontinuous distribution it's mean animal is present in the certain area then it is absent from um, uh, other areas and uh, uh, without any continuity lung fishes are the classical examples lung fishes have lungs for the purpose of respiration um, normally fishes have gills for the purpose of the respiration but this is the exception and uh, these fishes uh, can live in the uh, conditions of the extreme drought too there are three genera of the lung fishes prototeres this is found in the africa lepidoteres it is found in the south america neoteres it is found in australia all these are three different continents so the lung fish uh, uh, these uh, three genera of lung fishes have discontinuous distribution flightless birds also have discontinuous distribution uh, these birds are not able to fly because they have and they are very heavy weight or they are and they are very heavy weight or their size is very large so uh, a heavy weight or large size uh, is not suitable for flight ostriches they are found in the africa and arabia cassowaries and emus are found in the australia cassowaries and uh, emus uh, they are much like ostriches but they have a bent neck uh, to some extent bent neck than ostriches ostriches have almost straight neck kiwi is a small bird found in the new zealand rias they are found in the south america elephants and rhinoceros are also have discontinuous distribution and they are found in the asia and africa marsupials these are the mammals most common example is the kangaroo they are found in the australia which is their real home and the south america camels are found in asia africa and europe while llamas are found in south america llamas are also a type of the camel and these are mostly white in the color and they have small body than uh, normal uh, camels which are brown or reddish brown in color Tapirs are found in Java, Sumatra, and Central and South America. Tapir is the animal which have uh, much resemblance with uh, much resemblance with a pig. There are a number of arguments to explain the occurrence of discontinuous distribution. Okay, uh, we said that animals are present in the certain areas and absent from certain areas. Why this happened or what is the reason behind discontinuous distribution? According to Darlington, a group of animals can become discontinuously distributed in three ways. Now what are these three points? By reaching the oceanic islands across the water, for example, in rabbits were introduced in the Australia. They reach the oceanic islands across the water. Rabbits were introduced in the Australia. There are two types of islands, continental islands and the oceanic islands. Continental islands, they are present near the land. And the ones they were the part of the continent in the past. Okay, ये आपको ज़मीन के या खुशकी के करीब में लेंगे और ये past में या माज़ी में continent का हिस्सा थे. लेकिन oceanic जो islands हैं, ये आपको deep water के अंदर में लेंगे और ये जो volcanic activity या lava जो पड़ता है, उसकी activity की वजह से ये islands पानी के ऊपर आते हैं. By the extension of species in between two ranges or two areas, the species extinct हो जाती हैं दो ranges या दो areas के दरमियान तब भी उनकी discontinuous distribution हो सकती है. 
बाई समर्जेंस ऑफ लैंड मैसेज इन बिटवीन टू रेंजेस दो रेंजेस के दरमियान जो लैंड मैसेज हैं उनकी समर्जेंस यानी वो एक दूसरे के साथ समर्ज हो जाएँ या फिर ये भी केस हो सकता है कि वो पानी के अंदर 